the Bushcraft family. I've got to where I was trying to get to today and what I'm going to do while I'm here is an unboxing of the Wildwood gas stove. So bear with me a moment. Nice little camp stove. Let's go and see how it works, should we? Mm. Wildwood gas stove. Um works nicely actually. Got this nice bit of uh, hip around it. Easy open into the second box. That's nice. A little booklet on how to use it. Comes in its own little bag. Put it out there. And it comes in what's supposed to be four easy assembling parts. Oh. So let's see how this goes together then, shall we? That one pops inside there. It pops through. And that one's supposed to pop into there. Right, and then we'll just put the the top on it. So bring it through the centre and push it out as far as you can. It is quite difficult, but it does clip in clip it into place. Please come over. Like that. Sits on the top like that. So I think that was relatively easy to get on, to get started with. The next thing is, now put the kettle on to make a cuppa. As you can see, I've just pulled the moss back off this big rock, so once we've finished, we can lay it all back on again and you won't even be able to tell that we've really been here. Drop it in there, I'll do it and hope that'll catch now. Other little bits in there. Just one note with these little stores because it is such a small stove and you have got such a small burn area you do need to use small twigs and little bits to get the fire going to really build your heat up in there the other thing about this stove is at the top here it is a double layer so what is actually happening is as the air draws in from here it's also sucking in from the holes around the top of the fire as well which helps enhance the heat. Once you've got the fire as hot as you think you need it, 
obviously then you would pop your your top back on <coughs> our problem of course is that we've got to go and get the kids fairly soon and uh, that's got to cool down so it's a shame I could have done with a cup of coffee right now To me that's worked quite nicely there. Now it's obviously it's drawn the air through where it needs to draw it through. I just wait for that bit dying down. And then you would pop the pop your kettle on top of there or your pan and you'd be away. Well, I'm quite impressed with that little stove. It took no getting going. I believe it will take a fair bit of feeding all the time for being the small twigs. But if you just want the quick cup here, personal opinion, I think it's a, a great little stove. I can't believe how easy it was to get going. I thought with it being in such a small little compartment that it was going to take a lot more effort to get going. But I think the, the key definitely is small tweaks to start with and really build your heat up. But yeah. It took, what, five minutes? Yeah. And you saw the flames the way they were there. The thing is, I mean, the, the, one of the reasons we bought this was for day hikes where we're just going out, we don't want to carry a load of gear and we don't particularly want to make a big fire. You know, it's just to make something to eat, some something to drink, and, and away we go from there. So, I think it's a good buy. This. Yeah. For the price, definitely. I think it's nicely boxed, nicely presented, and it's certainly, certainly done the job here this afternoon. Yeah, and I think what we'll, what we need to do is put a link to Wild Stoves. Yeah. Definitely. Where we bought this from. Now, this is we actually got this at a discount price, didn't we? Because um, it's actually eight millimeters bigger than it should be. Um, so instead of paying forty nine pounds, I think it was, price. we got it for half price. So it's a, I think it's, it's a, a good deal. A good deal, I believe. As we stand here today, there's still deals on. Whether it is in the future. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's while stocks last, isn't it? Yeah, really. It is. So um, we'll put a link as well, shall we? On the yeah, I think we'll definitely put a link on the website to them, and uh, I think it's definitely worth worth a buy if you want just something little to pop in your backpack and be able to take with you. Brilliant. Shall right, we uh, see if we can cool it down now and get, <laughs> get back for the boys? I think we need to. The bush for our family. Dead letter. Dead letter. Dead letter. Dead letter. Dead letter.